What's up, family? Victor Bout, the convicted arms dealer the U.S. swapped with Russia for WNBA star Brittany Griner, revealed what he said to her while they were being exchanged on the airport tarmac in Abu Dhabi. I'm very familiar with Abu Dhabi because I used to go there year after year when my son played rugby while we were living overseas in Azerbaijan. Cool, cool, cool place. Hot as hell. The first time I ever got a sunburn was in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, fam. Real talk. Now, y'all know about all of the controversy going on with people saying that they should have given up what's his name? The uh, Paul Whelan instead of uh, Brittany. They should have brought Paul Whelan back home instead of Brittany. Uh, some people were calling her a pot-smoking lesbian and, and all this type of stuff. And they want this guy, Paul Whelan, to come home. Let me tell you something, fam. The same people, as I said before, the same people who got a problem with Brittany Griner uh, being released and talking that, talking that military vet stuff are the same people who were trying to overthrow the government on January 6th or who appreciated what they did to try to overthrow the government. Or perhaps they were indifferent. But these are the same people always screaming that they're patriots and all this kind of stuff. They don't give a damn about no damn army vet, military vet. They don't care nothing about no Marine. They don't care nothing about none of that stuff. They saw color. This is all about color, fam. They saw color and they went in. They got upset. They got their panties in a bunch because she's black and dude is white. It's simple as that. And this dude that they're talking about should have went before Brittany Griner, Paul Whelan. Paul Whelan got a bad conduct discharge. The dude was busted for larceny, among other things writing hot checks and all this kind of stuff. These are the same people that talk about that law and order stuff and all this tough on crime stuff, but they would rather a criminal come back into the States. Uh, somebody, I'm talking about a criminal, somebody who committed crimes against the United States rather than someone who has a clean record. Come on, fam. Y'all know what this is about. Y'all know what it's about. Anyway, dude said that he told Brittany Griner, good luck. And he also explained that he wished her good luck because uh, it is a tradition in Russia. He said you should wish everyone good fortune and happiness. And he also said that he believed that Brittany Griner was positively inclined towards him. He said he, she tried to reach out her arm at some point, he didn't say what happened or whatever, but I've watched the video and I do believe that she did, but there wasn't a handshake. And that's that part of that clip that was cut out. Remember, if you watch that, watch the clip, fam, the clip cuts and you know they cut it out. What is a cold game? Boy, this is politics, man. This politics is tricky. Government stuff, man, it's tricky. Man, imagine how much history they cut out. Imagine how much stuff was omitted. I'm going to keep it a buck, fam. Even if Biden had a choice out of Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner, I would pick Brittany 1,000 times in a row just to piss off the fake patriots. You don't like it? Argue with the wall. No more talk.